Welcome to Marvelicious Toys. We bring you news and reviews of Marvel toys, statues, and more, because not all Marvel collections can be bagged and boarded. They're not just toys, they're Marvelicious. We are live at the Diamond booth, and we are looking at their Milestones collection of statues. Now these have a retail price suggested of around $200, and yes, they are made of like a polystone material, they're not plastic. But let's take a look at the cap here, so from Civil War. Great explosion there on his shield. Great sculpting on the face. That outfit, his costume is tremendous. Look at his suit. There's a lot of detail in that suit, a lot of weathering. Got all the stress points right on it. Okay, just his boots alone. Look at the freaking boots. And let's talk about this base. It's rocky, it's got some flames. It joins with the Iron Man base. And let's take a look now at Iron Man. Look at this. This is tremendous. Look at that. Look at his repulsor blast. So I can get a good shot of that. Oh man, loving this. And look at these two together. See, they join. Pretty sweet, right, guys? I love this. Now they've also got a good Thor. Look at that amazing beard on there. Good kind of feathering detail on his bodysuit. Molnir's got a little motion effect there. It's really great with the lightning coming out of it. Nice and clear and translucent. Justin should like that. Maybe he has to get this because it's translucent. And then you go down and you've got this wonderful base where he's like swirling up. And then the base part of it, look how decorative that is. Really, really super awesome. Now these are coming, let's see, Thor is summer. These are all summer 2017, so this year. And then we have one more to look at here in the milestones. We have got Doctor Strange coming in the fall. Look at that face. He looks just like Benedict Cumberbatch. We got his astral projections there. Great effect on the cape. Look at that. And really nice logo incorporation there at the bottom there. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video very well. And then again, a really decorative base here. This is really pretty. Again, these are suggested retail of $200. And I don't think it would be well worth any penny. If you want to get into the statue game and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I think this is a good place to start. I mean, these are tremendous. They've also got another set of statues that run under $200. And these, this is a premiere collection. And they've got a spider Gwen. She's perched precariously on this little column here really great she's going to come out summer of this year and then we've got this iron man which i am totally in love with look at the base first of all really 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 pretty we've got the nice like rubble here and then look at the paint job on him that paint job it's so pretty and shiny it's so pretty i love that one now we're going to move on to one of my favorite characters wolverine Nice claws, got some nice muscle definition in there. And then look at the base here on this one too. Decorative, he's got some turrets in there. And then we're gonna move over here to Psylocke. She's got a great base, a really great effect. Her hair is amazing. I don't know if you can see it in the back there, how it's kind of swooping up. I don't think you can very well, but trust me, the hair is utterly amazing and it's great. All right, so that is the diamond premiere up here. You've got premiere. Oh, and I should talk about the other two premiere. I forgot to. I forgot one of my favorite characters. They've also got a Thanos in premiere. I like him. He's nice and big and bulky. He's got a good base. Some flame effects on the side. It's very stately and very regal. He does have an extra set of hands there. And then I think my favorite one here. Can you guess who it is? Come on, it's Captain America. Look at this. It's kind of like he's doing aerobics, but it's still a great statue. He's like really excited about something. Nice detail on his suit. More of a classic cap. Good boots on him too. I don't know why I like the boots so much, but the boots are really good. I just like this base too. It's also very 
regal and very nice. It's very stately. I think it's a good statement piece because all of these have their great bases and it's more than just sticking a statue on a shelf. It's a piece of work. It's a piece of art. So just to recap, Premier Collection, we've got Thanos, Cap, Psylocke, Wolverine, Classic Iron Man, and Spider Gwen. And then the milestones, we have Doctor Strange, Iron Man and Cap, and then we have Thor. All right, we're still at the Diamond booth, and now we're looking at their vinyl statues, the PVC. And you can see up here, they've got some from the Netflix TV series. We've got The Punisher, Elektra, Daredevil, Luke Cage. And these run about $45, which is a really, 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 really fabulous price point and allows a lot more people to get into the statue game. If you've been holding out, this is a good one to do. Good price. Now let's move on because there's a little movie coming out later this year called Guardians of the Galaxy. So let's start with the Gamora. Look at that with the sword. Nice detail on her hair. Oh, I think her hair is really great anyway. Oh, and look, she's got a little buddy over here. Look at Rocket. So great. And what would they be without Star-Lord? Now, this is not the final product. Great base on him. Love that. That nice effect. And then we've got Drax over here. And oh, look, he's got a little friend. Isn't he super cute? I'm loving all the Groot stuff this year. Look how tiny he is. I totally would adopt a baby Groot if I could. Ooh, look at this. Look at the Black Panther. Wonderful detail on his suit. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. Just tremendous detail. Very incredible amount of detail for $45. Now we've got some other ones down here. We've got Gwen Pool, her base, the big G. Pretty awesome there. She's got her cell phone. We've also got an Iron Man. He's a, that flame effect is really cool on his. And then we've got Iron Heart. Fun base, nice little effect there with the repulsor lift. Good detail. And again, Old Man Logan. Look at that. That is a good piece. I love Old Man Logan. Okay, this is the next one I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can kind of tell who it is. But this one takes the cake. And this is the one, if you're only going to buy one, you got to buy the Falcon. Look at this. Falcon is tremendous. He's got a great base. It's Falcon as Captain America. Wow, just love this. And then we've got a Miles Morales Spider-Man. And we're going to finish out with Jean Grey. I really like her based on hers with the Phoenix. Good color and the hair. It's really, really big and awesome. Good detail in it too. I don't know if you can see that. Now we've got some mini mates for Spider-Man Homecoming. Aunt May. Spider-Man. And then we have little, I guess, Peter Parker, <clears throat> Vulture. Pretty big if you look in comparison there. Look at that. And over here we have some more. These are Iron Fist and Luke Cage from the TV series. And here's some from the Wolverine comic. That Wolverine. That's amazing. Oh, and look, there's some Guardians. Little Yondu's super cute. And I didn't think he could make Groot cuter, but look at that. These are fun. I like Mini Mates. They're a lot of fun to get and put together. Looks like Star-Lord, you're also going to get his hair, so the mask is removable. Then we're going to move on to select figures. We have Lady Deadpool. You can kind of see she comes up zombie face there. We've got Homecoming Spider-Man. And of course he comes with a lot of different hands there. Spider-Gwen. 
Comes with an alternate, I guess, torso bust? Extra set of hands there, too. And then Star Lord. That he comes with some guns, and I can't tell what that item is. But super cool nonetheless. Selects are always good. Then, of course, in the retro figure sets, we've got Punisher. Love that trench coat. Then we've got Deadpool. I like the Frank Castle though. We've got a lot of different options for him. We've got him in his everyday clothes, Punisher, we've got him in his jumpsuit. Pretty solid offerings. So, I don't know, I think I think my favorite here is the Falcon, and I think that's the one I'm going to have to get really quickly as soon as it comes out. It's got no ship date yet. I think that's definitely the item to see in the diamond booth. Thanks for watching this video. You can see full episodes of Marvelicious Toys with more collecting news and reviews at MarveliciousToys.com. We also have thousands of toy and collectible photos in our photo gallery. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, make mine Marvelicious.